of the following is not a calcium binding protein once you answer this then i'm going to provide you with certain other options calbindin clathrin troponin or calmodulin a b c d guys the correct answer is clathrin clathrin is not a calcium binding protein clathrin is associated with exocytosis it is associated with exocytosis now let me just bring a twist in this i give you option a b c and d calcineurin calcineurin what will be your answer calbindin troponin calmodulin or calcineurin a b c d if i say that which is not a calcium binding protein calbindin troponin calmodulin calcineurin and clathrin we have already finished up with this answer so now this is out of question i have told you that clathrin is associated with exocytosis i am reframing the question okay now give me now let me put up another question to you now if i say you which is not a calcium binding protein calbindin calmodulin dystrophin dystrophin d calcineurin this is one of the very very important questions as far as your calcium binding proteins are concerned now what will be your answer calbindin calmodulin dystrophin or calcineurin which is not a calcium binding protein yes now let us write down the different calcium binding proteins and let us rule out what are going to be the various options sabse pehle remember the confirmed calcium binding proteins the confirmed calcium binding proteins are going to be calmodulin calmodulin is present especially in the smooth muscles right one confirm second calbindin good evening abby god bless you good evening cal binding confirmed calcium binding protein in the intestine tell me which hormone is going to stimulate cal binding third confirmed one third confirmed one is calliquestrin this calliquestrin is present in the skeletal muscles ravi very good skeletal muscles right it is present in the skeletal muscles in the l tubules correct answer i'll give you a cup of coffee one minute then is troponin c confirmed these four are my confirmed calcium binding proteins confirm no doubt about it problem problem comes if i am given option as calcineurin and dystrophin what is going to be my answer calcineurin dystrophin out of this 100% dystrophin is a wrong answer it is not associated with a calcium binding protein it is not at all a calcium binding protein however calcineurin is directly indirectly related to calcium so in the option if suppose you have a b c d e you can reject calcineurin but if you have both calcineurin and dystrophin as an option please rule out dystrophin right i hope i'm crystal clear what did i say that if calcineurin is given as an option please rule out calcineurin but if calcineurin dystrophin both are given then please rule out dystrophin and first cup of tea is won by ravi for giving very correct answer that it is vitamin d it is vitamin d that stimulates the calcium reabsorption in the intestine by increasing the calcium binding protein that is cal binding so very good ravi good so what is calcineurin it is a calcium calmodulin dependent protein phosphatase that activates t cells 
of the immune system and you use calcium neuron inhibitors as immunosuppressive drugs right so calcium neuron uh, inhibitors are going to be used as uh, immunosuppressive drugs now inverse stretch reflex is mediated by what a b c d you will say that ma'am 100 times you repeat this question when ma'am is repeating the question 100 times you can imagine how much important is this question you can yourself imagine how much important is this very high yielding topic and i'm going to today clear certain confusions from your mind as well yes so see remember when we say stretch reflex and when we say inverse stretch reflex these are two things but the third thing which comes as a confusion let's rule out today so this is caused by gto this is caused by muscle spindle now if the question comes you golgi bottle neuron what you will do then what is the function of golgi bottle neuron because there is 100% liability that all my bachas over here are going to confuse the golgi bottle with the gto yes or no so what is golgi bottle yes that is therefore i again took this question today though ravi you might be bored ma'am kitni bar woh question leti hai but important hota hai dekho hmm kya hota hai ki when when good this is an interneuron this is an interneuron which is present in the spinal cord and it is an inhibitory interneuron it is an inhibitory interneuron second mcq it is an example of what it is an example of post synaptic or which we called it as a direct inhibition post synaptic or direct inhibition so this is my second mcq post synaptic inhibition example golgi portal neuron not gto it is involved where third question it is involved where it is involved in the reciprocal innervation of stretch reflex it is involved in the reciprocal innervation of the stretch reflex now what do we mean by this reciprocal innervation of the stretch reflex but show is totally different from the inverse stretch reflex inverse stretch reflex me your muscle tension is there which is detected by gto afferent is 1b and it is a by synaptic reflex what is reciprocal innervation of the stretch reflex see suppose the biceps are contracting now when there is contraction of the agonist which is brought about by the stretch reflex okay when there is contraction of the agonist that is brought about by the stretch reflex you should bring about the relaxation of the antagonist it is very very important that you should bring about the relaxation of the antagonist that relaxation of the antagonist is brought about with the help of the golgi bottle interneuron so it will what it will do it will inhibit the triceps so that there is smooth movement because i just want contraction i just want flexion so it is important that i should uh, relax the antagonist muscle and therefore that is going to be the reciprocal innervation of the stretch reflex whereas inverse stretch reflex is the gto reflex or the bisynaptic reflex it is also called as an autolog uh, protective reflex it is also called as a protective reflex why protective reflex because it is protecting the muscle from tear muscle tension badh jata hai na isliye now delivery of the stimulus above threshold above threshold intensity results in constant amplitude of action potential so what you are doing is you are giving a supra threshold stimulus you are giving a supra threshold stimulus this is resulting in a constant amplitude action potential a constant amplitude action potential what is this phenomenon called 
all or none law electrotonic potentials absolute refractory period or relative refractory period what is this phenomenon very good very good this is all or none law what does all or none law says all or none law means either the tissue either any excitable tissue any excitable tissue will show its maximum response or there will be no response at all either the response that is shown is going to be maximum or there's going to be no response who follows all or none law a action potentials b graded potentials a or b who follows the all or none law action potentials or graded potentials very good so it is followed only by the action potentials very good so i'll give you a cup of coffee sayan yes i'm just minimizing your name for my comfort very very good so a cup of coffee to you that graded potentials they show what they show summation right ha huh. so you should know few differences between action potentials and graded potentials this comes as an important mcq so thoda sa aapko pata hona chahiye sabse pehle they are self propagatory what is self propagatory suppose they start they are going to end up with the same amplitude they are not going to change in their amplitude and once they start they are going to move on their own that means they do not die off in between these graded potentials can die off they may travel for some distance and they may die off so these can uh, these are decremental they are not self propagatory they are not self propagatory they may die off action potentials as we seen that they follow all or none law they do not show summation they do not show summation whereas graded potentials they are going to show summation rather without summation without summation the graded potentials are not effective they cannot bring about that effected by any one stimuli they require summations action potentials can be produced only 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 by a threshold or a supra threshold stimuli only by a threshold or supra threshold these can be produced definitely by the sub threshold stimuli because they are going to show the phenomenon of summation then action potentials are by and large always depolarizing always depolarizing with one exception that exception will come in our near future mcq they are always depolarizing but these can be depolarizing that means they can be either excitatory they can be hyperpolarizing that means they can be inhibitory also for example if you remember ipsp epsp of the graded potentials right now what is the use of action potential and what is the use of graded potentials when you want to bring about an effect through a long distance suppose i this is point a this is point b and i have to travel such a long distance then i will use my action potentials but suppose i have to just transfer the information from one neighboring cell to another right from one neighboring cell to another i am just going to use my graded potential because these potentials they are not passive they are active phenomenons 
these are the phenomena where there's going to be utilization of energy so graded potentials better to be used wherever the distance is short right another mcq in relation to this is in the optic pathway or when we speak about the retinal cells all the cells all the cells that means the bipolar the horizontal right then uh, the photoreceptors all these they show graded potentials all of them and the only exception over here boys and girls this is very important mcq the only exception over here is the ganglion cells the ganglion cells which are going to form the optic nerve they show true action potential they show true action potential rest all other cells they show graded or local potentials another mcq just completed over here horizontal cells show a phenomenon of lateral inhibition this lateral inhibition plays a very very important role in the contrast very good ravi so what do you want okay ravi shall get a piece of cake very good ravi let it studded so it is studded with fruits and nuts and with cherries very very good so it shows lateral inhibition another pathway which shows lateral inhibition is the dorsal column pathway dorsal column pathway wherever you require fineness wherever you require contrast there you use lateral inhibition now this is the uh, mcq which i took in relation to the depolarization and hyperpolarization action potentials tell me what is the resting membrane potential of rods that means we are speaking of the photo receptors a b c d what is the correct answer very good so many of you could give the correct answer the correct answer is minus 40 right i'll explain you why before that i told you that action potentials are always depolarizing then i said you that there is an exception that exception has come up over here that exception is that of the photoreceptors where the action potential is hyperpolarizing the action potential is hyperpolarizing how that is occur let's see now you can see that this is the structure of the rod having the outer segment and the inner segment so whenever there is dark okay whenever there is dark these sodium ions sodium channels are kept open the sodium channels are kept open with the help of cyclic gmp so these are cyclic gmp gated channels which will always be kept open as soon as light will fall okay as soon as light will fall through various series rhodopsin lumi rhodopsin bathmo rhodopsin meta rhodopsin 1 meta rhodopsin 2 there is going to be activation of this protein this is third mcq that this is the protein that is required for transduction in the photoreceptors which is called as transducin another mcq is this meta rhodopsin 2 is the active one i told you there is going to be bathmo rhodopsin lumi rhodopsin meta rhodopsin 1 and then meta rhodopsin 2 so out of so many cleavage products it is going to be the meta rhodopsin 2 that is important that brings about activation of this transducin which causes activation of the phosphodiesterase decrease the level of cyclic gmp as the level of cyclic gmp decreases there is closure of the uh, sodium channels resulting in hyperpolarization this hyperpolarization actually results in action potential right that means when dark fall when there is dark 
it is depolarizing and when there is light there is going to be hyperpolarization so because of hyperpolarization there is going to be decrease in the release of the neurotransmitter the neurotransmitter which is involved over here is glutamate which is more in dark which is more in dark and as light falls its level is going to decrease this hyperpolarization will lead to an action potential so what to remember minus 40 dark but minus 40 is supposed to be the rmp as light falls it is going to be minus 70 that means still it is going to be more negative because it is more negative it is a hyperpolarizing action potential mediator is transducent activated by rhodopsin meta rhodopsin 2 are you understanding or not boys and girls or you are just sitting and listening yes very good yes good 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 so ravi will get a star somika will get a star krishna will get a star all those who take efforts to type will get star now twinkling so that you shimmer even in studies what is the cause of the dichrotic notch passive filling of the ventricles closure of the aortic valve closure of the mitral valve or isovolumetric contraction a b c d yes so just look upon this is the pulse tracing this is the pulse tracing this is the dichrotic notch this can be an image based question always smg wale bachcho this can always be an image based question so you are getting a tidal wave or the percussion wave you are getting a dichrotic wave and you are getting a dichrotic notch this notch is also called as the insusura what is the cause of this notch if you remember that the blood flows from the left ventricle into the aorta this is classified as first rapid ejection followed by a slow ejection now during slow ejection the volume decreases the pressure decreases the blood tries to move back from the aorta to the left ventricle as the blood passes back from the aorta to the left ventricle there is going to be closure of this aortic valve the closure of the aortic valve on the pulse tracing gives this dichrotic notch right so this period actually comes the proto diastole proto diastole as this aortic valve will close once the aortic valve will close this is going to be diastole proper where the ventricles will go into isovolumetric relaxation the ventricles will go into isovolumetric relaxation see so percussion wave is because of the ejection of the blood during systole dichrotic wave rebound of the blood against close aortic valve and dichrotic notch actually represents the closure of the aortic valve remember this is going to coincide with s2 in the ecg right adequate oxygen delivery at the cellular level is present in which type of hypoxia anemic histotoxic stagnant or hypoxic a b c d a very beautifully framed question i should say very nicely framed question very good and so much of confusion cellular level cellular level hypoxic decrease in the partial pressure of oxygen so definitely decrease in the oxygen delivery at the tissue level strong stimulation of the chemoreceptors that is peripheral yes cyan very good so cyan ko aise karte pehle jaldi se we will give cyan a 
कॉफी यू वॉन्ट साइन और टी यू वॉन्ट जल्दी से बोलो वट डू यू वॉन्ट कॉफी और टी इसके पहले की मैम मेक्स द फ्यूम वेरी वेरी गुड सो यू वॉन्ट कॉफी वेरी गुड सो अ कप ऑफ कॉफी कीप स्माइलिंग एंड कीप एनर्जेटिक राइट सो डिक्रीज पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन डिक्रीज डिलीवरी स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ द पेरिफरल कीमो रिसेप्टर्स स्टैगनेंट इन स्टैगनेंट the partial pressure of oxygen is normal but the delivery to the cellular level is decreased why decreased because of a very slow or a very sluggish blood flow like shock ccf histotoxic oxygen delivery is there but not at cellular level because it is a reflection of cyanide poisoning which inhibits the enzyme cytochrome oxidase which inhibits the enzyme cytochrome oxidase which is going to decrease oxygen at cellular level remember what is hypoxia what is the definition of hypoxia it is decrease oxygen at tissue or at cellular level in anemic hypoxia the partial pressure of oxygen is normal moreover moreover the oxygen is present also in the dissolved form there is no problem in the flow there is a problem in the oxygen content right but dissolved form of oxygen is quite sufficient there is no problem in utilization so there is going to be no hypoxia in carbon monoxide sorry yes in carbon monoxide poisoning or anemic hypoxia this becomes a very very important mcq that this anemic hypoxia does not stimulate does not stimulate peripheral chemoreceptors right it does not stimulate peripheral chemoreceptors now if the radius of the vessel is doubled the blood flow will increase by how much Eight sixteen thirty two or two fifty six A B C D. Bull. Very good. Confident. The physics of my bachchas are really good. Very very good. So all my bachcha parties have got a wonderful physics. It is based upon the Hagen's law, which says that R is equal to eight eta L upon Pi r raised to the power four, or simply remember that resistance to flow is inversely proportional to fourth power of radius. Right? The resistance, the seat of resistance becomes the arterioles, the meta arterioles, and the precapillary sphincters. The precapillary sphincters. Is me se agar best puchoge to arterioles hoga. क्योंकि वहां पर मैक्सिमम स्मूथ मसल्स है रिच सिंपथेटिक इनर्वेशन भी है रिच सिंपथेटिक इनर्वेशन आर्ट्रियोल्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट साइट फॉर द रेजिस्टेंस राइट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चीफ साइट ऑफ द रेजिस्टेंस दे फॉर दे आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द रेजिस्टेंस ब्लड वेसल्स दे प्ले अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन ऑटो रेगुलेशन ऑफ ब्लड फ्लो auto regulation of blood flow right next